The subject of today's video is a map called Stockyard. Um, I have pretty uh, fond memories of this map, though I wouldn't say it's the most played map in the game, but you know, it's, uh, I've seen a few other people say they liked it, so you know, I can't be the only one who's got, like, you know, good memories. Yeah. Well, you, the rocket launch is up there, you got the gods, uh, get the gods, I, you know, I might, I might want to put that out there. Get that first, because then it gets easier to get some other stuff. Though, frankly, if there's a lot going on in the server, you know, it's not recommended that, you know, take the slow way around and, like, really take your time. This is, like, the warehouse section of the map. You, like, you know, there's a lot of little hiding places, a lot of goodies around, like a revolver in the door, like, the little enclove here. So, you know, take advantage of cover and try to, like, you know, sneak up on people. That tends to work good for me. So, outside of the warehouse, you got two, like, yard areas that are similar but not identical. If you go up here, you got yet another rocket launcher, which is, you know, good fun of guaranteed for all. You also got an SMG. And I think one of these yard, the yards here has the crossbow. Is that it? No, it's a shotgun. Now, the thing is, is that you also got little, like, entrance ways on both of these, um, yard areas. You got elevators. And on each side is a submachine gun. Well, not a submachine gun, you know, a mounted machine gun. And yeah, take advantage of that if you will, because, you know, you'll tend to bring the pain. Here's the crossbow. Um, I'll show you what's over there in a second. If you go back this way, you'll get to the other yard. As long as I have a healing thing there. Yeah, see, it's not quite the same. Though this one is easier to control in my opinion because there's less weapons like you know available on the ground like for people to get like back at you um but just be careful because you know there's like uh someone could hide there and if they got a like you know a gauze or like crossbow they can take you out and yeah that leads back in so let me show you the inner areas here it's not a terribly big map um medium size more so but yeah there's some interesting nooks and crannies and goodies to be found here See there, you can go from there to there, just another way to get around. Uh, but if you go this way, there's some stuff on this, uh, well, there's some stuff on the floor here, too. Something particularly interesting I'm about to show you, and that's the elevator. So, we're about everything. Now, th this room is very interesting because, um, you got some nice stuff there. But you can also get into a little hidden area here. But before I do that, and you gotta, if you want to get the top row, you either gotta, like, you know, do, like, a little mini gauze jump, or you gotta use the, uh, barrels. Well, you know, in theory, you can use the gauze jump. This is interesting, because this right here is actually what the HEV charger looked like earlier in development. This is not some random little thing they put in. This is actually, if you played the leak Half-Life, uh, Alpha, I believe it's used there. Or failing that, I think it might be a prefab in, like, the development kit or something. But, yeah, anyway, it was in... This is an earlier version of the HEV charger. And why I'm bringing this up is that this map was also in the, uh... Half-Life Alpha that got leaked. I haven't played it in a long time. But the map there was called WarZDM. Like, literally, W-A-R-E-Z underscore DM. Or Where's DM, like, Warehouse DM. And I remember it being relatively similar to how it is now. So, this might actually be the earliest Half-Life Deathmatch map in existence. I don't quote me on that though, because I don't- it's been a long time, I don't know if anything else has been leaked. But yeah, this is- this has been around since 97. I think it was a little different, but it wasn't radically different from what I remember. And I should also mention, because I forgot to bring it up earlier, this map was designed by Brett Johnson. Just thought that'd be count for, you know, gotta bring that up. Anyway, let's play. Come out, pray. I need to hunt.
you know, hiding between these boxes and like waiting for people to get close because they're too distracted. I remember like, you know, splashing so many people right in the frickin' head. Such a satisfying feeling when your aim is not terrible like mine is. Even up here, you know, it's good stuff. It's probably a good thing that the crossbow's not in this uh, area as far as I remember. Log jump is though. Completely forgot about that. Completely. Um, but yeah, it's a good thing that the um, crossbow is not in this area as far as I remember. Because someone would just go in a corner and just end up camping the whole time. But you know, nothing wrong if camping's your playstyle, but you know, it can get a little old for the other people getting their brains blown out, I suppose. For lack of a better word. Guess you can always grab it from up there and like, you know, bring it in there, so you know, never mind. But you know, at least there's a risk versus reward there. Half-Life Deathmatch is watching the area just get bloody like this. It's so brutal, dang it. Cause you know, that's the thing about like Quake 3. As much as I like Quake 3, um the blood in that game is just not nearly as satisfying in like terms of jibs and like you know like you know the, the walls getting stained, it's just not nearly the same as this game. This game will bring out the inner, the sadist in you, honestly. So yeah, that's Stockyard. Personally, one of my top five or four Half-Life Deathmatch maps. Um, too bad that, you know, there's not a lot of servers playing it, but oh well.